guys, Mike with Off-Road Family Adventures. A little product update here on the switch flag holders. Check out the orientation difference. A uh, little bit stronger design for the heavier flags. All right, so most of you know flag holders here. Um, they hold up to a one inch pole and they work really, really well with your, let's, let's put this on the other way just to show you. I recommend putting these where your flag is on the inside, where this holder part here is on the inside, but let's do it on the outside for demonstration purposes. Uh, your normal flag holder sits in here and of course you can't do it the other way because it's just no, it's not reversible there. But anyway, it works really well with the lighter flags, but when you start to get the heavier flags, this is what happens. So with the heavier flags in here, and this is why I've always recommended to pull these out when you're going, this is a pretty heavy pull and a huge flag, but watch what happens here, is you get a little bit of a bend there, okay? And of course, a lot of wind and everything, you're probably gonna end up breaking something. So with this new design, you can see the difference here between this one and this one is the mounting base. So now this one, you can do it either way, but I recommend highly is to turn this around where your weight is sitting over the rail. And as always, I always recommend to put your flag inside your boat there, no matter which one of these you use. So when it's on the inside there, your weight is leaning forward and you don't have any bend at all in it. All of your weight is resting right here. So I recommend this orientation, your hook towards the inside of the boat, run your flag and it's pretty solid. I'm probably going to just replace the old ones. But anyway, uh, whichever way you do this, your hook, I've always recommended with your flag holders or your rod holders that that hook goes towards the inside of the boat. So just snap them on. And that way, when you put this on in the orientation where the base is right over the rail, when you've got these heavier flags with these wooden poles, now you don't have any, any problem whatsoever with it swaying or bending or anything like that it pretty much sits good and sturdy there so guys that's gonna i think that's gonna take a lot of weight off of the the switch clips especially when you're running your flags and as always always whether you buy the regular clips or the high heat clips the high heat resistant ones keep these out of the sun you know use them while you're going follow the instructions that are on the website there it tells you to use these when you come in for the day clean your boat take them off rinse them off put them out of the sun that way they'll last otherwise they're going to become brittle they're going to break on you you're going to need to buy new ones guys thanks we'll talk to you next time